You're looking sharp. I like your boots. Thank you. There you go. Feel rest it right on your chin. <laughs> yeah, right, right under here. Right here? No. <laughs> right here? There you go. So last week, um, we, we had prayed, you know, we just kind of did a generalized prayer and, and just prayed and a couple of people had expressed that they got healed. Jillian uh, got healed and Ben got healed and, and um, Gloria, I think, was told me after service that her neck was healed. And, and then, but I just said if anybody hadn't yet got healed or wanted to get healed uh, and, and they wanted maybe specific prayer that I would just stay down here and, and pray with people and you came down and prayed for you. And, and um, so, tell, so what happened? I came down because my wife pushed me down. Because, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Um, Thank God for pushy wives, right? Yes. <laughs> I had what's uh, I have what, what is called um, post chemo peripheral neuropathy. Uh, I know what that is, obviously, but for the rest of the people who don't know, <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, back in 2005, first of all, I had Legionnaire's disease. And that almost killed me. I was in the hospital for about two weeks. I was delirious for about a week. The doctors told my wife to start making plans that Ooh. I was not going to live. Wow. I was not going to make it. They didn't even know what I had. Um, I came out of it somehow. And um, about Three months later, four months later, I found out that I had cancer. I had a large B-cell lymphoma in my spleen, and it was an aggressive cancer, and so they treated it aggressively with five different chemos at the same time. Ooh. And in the process of that, it, it damaged my central nervous system, where I had chronic pain. Um, I have difficulty walking. Uh, I can't run. Or at least I couldn't. I don't know if I can now. I'm going to have to try, I guess. Uh, I've been going to church, and, and I'd gone up to get prayed for before. And I believe that God heals. I, I know that he does. Uh, the word says it, and I believe it. But for some reason, I would, I would think that I got healed at these church services. And I would feel good for a few days. And it would always seem to come back. Um, one way or another. I don't know if it was because of my lack of faith or because of, I don't know why, but it just, it just never seemed to take. <laughs> um, I had open heart surgery in 2010, double bypass. And so my, my body has, been, has taken a real bad beating for about five or six years. Um, now, I came down to get prayed for. And because my wife said, she grabbed me and she <laughs> pulled me out to the aisle. And, and I came up not necessarily knowing what was going to happen, you know, if I was going to get healed or not, you know. But I came down anyway. And I have to say that, well, my thigh was always numb to the point where it, um, it hurt. My feet felt like I was standing on a sheet of ice all day long, and it was, the, the pain was like a burning hot pain, like standing on a sheet of ice. And I lived with that for a long time. Well, all I know is my, my thigh isn't numb, my feet aren't burning, and I just have to give God all the glory for that. Amen. Amen. <laughs> 